What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be diving on into the new Starship Troopers game. Pretty excited about this one. I'm actually pretty amped up about it. I'm a big Starship Troopers fan. I would actually hazard a guess and say it's one of my favorite movies of all the movies. I'm a little bit of a cinephile. I've watched a lot of movies. And Starship Troopers is one of those ones that I saw when I was like 13. And ever since then, I think I rewatch it probably at least like twice a year. Uh, so the game is out in demo form right now during the Steam Festival. You can check that on out. We're going to dive in for about 25-30 minutes and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list. Otherwise, pass on. The game is being developed by Slytherin, who their track record has been pretty good lately. Slytherin has been putting out some pretty solid stuff. And so that's what's on the docket for today. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, I'll have a link for you down below. And then on top of that, you can find a link to my social media channels down there. Discord, Twitter, and my Twitch stream. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Uh, we've got a three-mission campaign that they've set up for the demo. So pacification. The mobile infantry has arrived in strength on the desert planet of Qualasha. Its ultimate objective is the pacification of the planet and to make sure the mining of vital minerals proceeds without major interruptions. Several squads have been sent out to secure the surroundings of the outpost Delta V and the colonist settlements in the sector. Would you like to know more? The Battle of Klendathu. A day that will live in infamy. But from tragedy springs hope as the Federation rebuilds its fleet bigger and stronger than before. To fuel this war machine, all eyes are now on Qualasha. Once an isolated outpost, this mineral-rich world has become a key part of humanity's battle for survival. But the planet's vital mining industry may now be in danger after reports of bugs on the surface. And so the mobile infantry answers humanity's call. These brave men and women will defend Quilasha from any insect aggression. Listen up, Lieutenant. The advanced team kicked an anthill. Now they got more bugs than they know what to do with. We're here to save their asses. Let's do this by the book. Don't be a hero, and you won't need a body bag. You understand me? Let's go. On the bounce. Okay, let's grab some of these mobile infantry platoons and see if we can move them around. It looks like these guys are under my control right here, and it does look like we have some form of formational control right there. Oh, yeah, you can face them. All right, let's go ahead and march these boys on out. The bugs aren't going to wait. Remember Buenos Aires. Let's go this way. Buenos Aires needs us, man. Oh, there's bugs over here. Open fire. Open fire. Kill them. Chariot bugs, huh? But there's no such thing as a harmless bug. Splat them and keep moving. Are we actually hitting them? Okay, it doesn't feel like we're hitting them, but I guess we are actually hitting them. I was hoping we'd see some little, like, a big thing about the movies is, like, the chunkies and stuff that fly off the bugs as they're being shot. I always felt like that effect was really well done. All right, we'll take this corner carefully. Everybody stay in formation. All right, boys, nobody has to die today. Oh, we got real bugs over here. All right, let's get on in here. Let's secure this left flank real fast. Make sure that these marksmen right here don't get picked up. Oh, that's exactly, see, the game wanted me to do exactly what I ended up doing. Uh, we're getting kind of close right now, dude. Are we supposed to be this close to the buggies? I sort of like not being fragmented. Like, I like being all in one awesome piece. And so, like, I'd rather not end up dead. Can they move and fire? Like, can they attack move? Let's move forward. They do have an attack move. Okay. All right, fair enough. Keep firing, boys. Keep firing. There's a little chunkies coming off. There we go. We got some we got some nasty little pieces coming off the buggies. All right, attack move up to there. We'll just take it nice and slow. Attack fighter striking coming. Stand back and enjoy the fireworks. They don't like to get their uniforms dirty. Those fly boys are pretty useful sometimes. Damn, a few bugs got away. Get after them before they reach the settlement. You know, we think you would think that we would have prepped for that contingency. Like, I'm not trying to poke holes in the balloon here. 
But it would seem to me that, like, when planning an operation... What kind of it might operation is this? be good to have a solid idea of what we're going to do in the off chance that the airstrike doesn't kill them all. Yeah, see, so now there's guys in t-shirts getting butchered by bugs. That guy killed a bug by himself. He straight up one punch man that thing. Look, there's one dead civilian right here with a dead bug next to him. You're going to tell me that this guy didn't just go one punch and just like knock the absolute green off that bug? Either these civilians ignored the evac order or someone's getting a weapon back at base for missing these stragglers. Yeah, but look, at least they've got a Tesla Cybertruck, so they can't be doing that poorly in this mining settlement. What's the MSRP on like a Tesla Cybertruck and also having it flown all the way across space? Like that's got to be fairly pricey, right? What's an ammo stash, dude? Do I actually have to worry about ammunition? Major Cortez reporting. Orders from command require you to confiscate all civilian weapons. That's a copy. Good to hear your voice. All right, let's capture the ammo. Secure those weapon stashes. I bet these guys will be using them. It looks like we can swap ammo types down here at the bottom too. Although there's no tooltip to tell me exactly what this ammo is. Oh, no, those are my two different units. I'm an idiot. Okay, so that's my two different detachments. I thought because one was grayed out and one was blued, and then also there was a change in range when I was looking at it when they were slightly off screen, uh, that we were swapping ammo types. It's not swapping ammo types. I guess we're just doing an objective right now. Although the idea of having, like, incendiaries or, like, armor piercings and stuff that you can swap into does sound pretty rad. The more tools like the that they give me for the job of that's killing the buggies, the happier I'll be. All right, so we got flamethrower troops over here. They're going to need some backup. We're going to move up on that right flank right there, I think. Uh, that's what sounds about right to me. Yeah, let's pull up on this right flank. Oh, there's actually friendly fire. Okay, so you cannot fire through friendly units. Gotcha. So the game actually expects you to, like, create a line, a formation, a grouping, and then kind of stick to it. That's actually, that could actually be a really transformative thing for the overall flow of the gameplay. For right now, it's giving me a little bit of like a Company of Heroes vibe because how of all the units are kind of like mesh and then you can put them in formation. We'll find out if there's cover or anything else later on. Oh, we've got flamethrowers and we've got another group of riflemen. It should be able to cut through the interference and get you some reinforcements. Copy that. Okay. Yeah, let's move them up, I guess. Can I set up, like, a new formation? Because ideally, the way that I'd like them to move is in formation with the combat engineers out in the front since they've got the flamethrowers. It looks like we do have incendiary grenades and stuff we can use as an ability, too. Uh, maybe... I think our formation is getting a little bit too chonky. Okay, so, like, combat engineers... Can I select both of you? There we go. All right, so combat engineers... I want you guys kind of squooshed up right there, and then you guys, I want sort of mushed up right here. There you go. Give them the fire. Give them the fire. Gun them down, baby. Gun them down. No soldier down today. Oh, we lost a man right there. Uh, you guys, you want to come up to here and maybe, like, get on the side of them and flamethrower them from that side? Oh, that guy's now dead, too. Oh, no, dude. I'm a terrible force commander. All right, well, is there a pause? There is not a push pause. So that explains the weird feeling of anxiety and panic that I have right now. Uh, let's put them right there. Yeah, you boys help out right there the best that you can. I need to get these guys firing free and at an angle where they can actually maintain line of sight. So you guys go that way, hold that. You guys come this way. Hold that. There we go. And you guys, we do have an opening right here, but I think you guys will be on cap. Go ahead and get that thing for me. These apes have taken a licking. Use the radio station to call a fleet and get replacements for our casualties. Oh. Yeah. Okay, everything looks pretty well animated. I like how they brought in the dropship, and now that group has been replenished. Can we only replenish, like, one at a time? Yeah, that's what it is. We can only send one back to the station to be replenished at a time. Okay, so we'll just take our time and we'll get it. I actually didn't realize that I lost, like, that many guys. I only saw, like, one or two go down. 
but retroactively, it looks like I lost a whole bunch. Major bug movement to your east. Okay, things are about to get interesting. Look sharp, people. Form a perimeter. Okay, are they gonna swarm around like every direction? Does it give me like a path or anything? It looks like they can only come down this road. So what I would do is I would put a unit there. I'd probably put a unit right there. We have this unit. Sort of right here, I guess. And then for the combat engineers, I actually don't legitimately know what to do with the... Oh, engineers and choke points. Okay, well, you guys go over there then. And you guys go over here then. And I don't know what to do with those engineers. I'm just going to have them reprovision real fast. There's really, with the line of sight mechanic, there's not really a whole lot of places I can put them. Like, this line is full. I mean, we might be able to put them, like, right there, possibly. Yeah, I don't know if you guys want to scooch and help, but I would appreciate some scooching and some helping. There we go. Let's take a look at these models right here. They look pretty good. I mean, they look straight out of the film. Like, they definitely got the modeling down. Oh, that guy got his head chopped off. That's not good. That guy's crawling. Okay. Fair enough. Little grizzly, little grizzly. Uh, you guys resupply real fast. Looks like we're going to be churning through some units here. Outstanding. This area is hotter than we thought. New order, sir. Bug activity is too strong. Command is recalling you to Delta 4 base. Leave the civvies and get yourself home. Hmm. That route won't be pretty. Rough terrain. Lots of potty holes for bugs. But you gotta punch through. Okay, well, punch through we shall. Punch through we shall. They're reprovisioned. Uh, you guys right here, resupply real fast. Anybody else need replacements? Speak now or forever hold your small piece of the squad. All right. Doesn't look like we have much going on right there. Can I change the formation order? So, like, I kind of want to... Like, I, I what I want to do here is I want to create basically a universal formation that they will march in. Uh, with the riflemen in the back and the combat engineers, sort of like a triangle. So three units in the back, two of them in the front, uh, lined up, you know, with the in-betweens of the unit effectively. So it'll look like a pyramid. Like, I want to make a wedge. And, like, I want them to march in that formation. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like that level of control is actively inside the game. So... I think we're going to have to micro a little bit. I'm going to keep them in, like, without a push-pause. That's something that I'm just flatly going to fail at. I hate to tell you. Okay. So with what we've got going on over here, you guys march that way. You guys go see what there is to see on that side. We're going to split the party here, which is probably a mistake by Scooby-Doo rules. But, hey, you know what? I'm going to Scooby-Don't for now. It looks like they're killing those bugs okay. Yeah, they didn't even make it to our line. Good. All right, so you guys attack move up to there. You guys attack move. Oh, nope, you don't need to attack move. Never mind. Just flamethrower freely then. I would like to see some kind of health indicator on the bug units as well. Uh, that would actually be really, really helpful because as of right now, what I like to do is I like to judge kind of the ticking down of their health to figure out if I need to reinforce a space in my line when I play stuff like this in Company of Heroes. I largely just look at health meters. I don't actually pay attention to, like, the spectacle. I treat it almost kind of like an MMO healer type deal where I just stare, I hold down the out key and I just kind of stare at the health bars and, like, determine, okay, their health bars are going down faster than mine on this side, so we don't need to reinforce, but over here it's kind of even. Let's add another unit over here. Like, that tends to be how I... Oh, I had them on attack move. My bad. I don't want you guys to be on attack move. I want you guys to move over there. You guys sweep in this way. I see choke points. I've got a bad feeling we're going to have to hold over here. I think I was correct about that. All right, you guys hold the perimeter. Oh, nope, do not hold the perimeter. There you go. Do not capture do not, do not capture the goodies over there. I'm going to need you guys to uh, kind of keep them back at the barricade right there for a second. All right, you guys hold this down for a second while they do that. You guys attack move up that way. Hopefully there's nothing in that little nook. 
Let that be a lesson. These colonists had guns, but they didn't have training or discipline. That's why we're alive, and they're not. I mean, to be fair, I, I don't want to poke holes in your theory there, Sarge. Uh, but we've lost like 40 guys, dude. Like, that, just holding that line right there, we, we were seriously depleted. So, like, maybe hold back on the superior attitude for a second until we can actually determine what the long-term ramifications of our survival here are. Uh, there's definitely going to be something inside of there. I see almost no functional way that there's not going to be something nasty inside of there. So let's just kind of attack move them over to here. Oh, there's nothing in there. Welcome well, to Delta 4. tickle me surprised. Now haul ass and get behind those walls. Like, do you actually want me just to make a break for it? I mean, it looks like the base perimeter is looking okay. So, yeah, let's just go for it, dude. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stoked about cuddling with giant, you know, semi-truck-sized bugs. I just, I don't like that idea. Bugs are going for the base. Standard procedure is to keep the gate shut until there are zero hostiles in the area. Oh, hell. Guess you're doing this in the open. Weak. This be a target-rich environment. Okay, engineers over here with the flamethrowers. Infantry's doing a good job for right now. Infantry, I need you guys over here. And then maybe a little infantry support from right there, if I can kind of, like, cheese the line of sight a little bit. Looks like they're stuck chewing on the truck for a minute, so I think we might be okay. Yeah, you guys just set up on the road. We got this. We got this, dude. We're doing it for Buenos, dude. Buenos Aires, remember, keep it in your hearts. Remember Clendathu. Oh, there's flyers. That can't be good. Oh, I like how they crash when they die. That's kind of a nice... Most games, they're just like... Meh, and they just like explode in midair. I'll do that for you one more time, just in case you missed my additive sound effects. Meh. Oh, we actually get to be alive. That's pretty cool. Thanks for letting me inside the base. Appreciate it. Standard protocol is a bunch of boo. That's how I feel about that. Let me inside, dude. We had like 45 seconds of clearance. Look how fast this gate goes up. Get on those walls and get ready. Look at this gate right here. Look how fast that opens and closes. You definitely had time. All right, so we'll put some rifle troopers over there. Maybe we'll man right, the wall it. right here. Bugs what you're made of. You guys set up on the gate just in case they get in. And then I don't actually actively know if the flamethrowers are gonna be useful at all in any legitimate capacity on the walls. So I may just put the flamethrowers over here. Yeah, they coming. Yeah, we don't have any kind of, like, status bar or health indicator. Oh, they level up, too. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they coming up the walls over here, man. You guys better stop them. You guys better huck a grenade or do something. Okay, let's reinforce over here. I don't think they need our help on this side. These guys seem like they're not really helping much, either. You guys get over here. There you go. Give us a little bit more firepower right there. They haven't come from the east yet, so at least that's good. We're not getting well pincered. Done, Any wounded, head to the medic. Everyone else, go find yourself a drink. Sir, yes, sir. Do you think that they have fat tire on this planet? Kolatha or wherever it is we are? I'd prefer a fat tire. Like I'm not being I'm not trying to be picky about my beer consumption, but Oh, hold on. We've got federal propaganda. With the size of the mug problem now clear, immediate action is needed. The mobile infantry moves into gear to protect Quilasha, its mines, and its people. Would you like to know more? Uh, apparently, we're going into the next battle, so let's do this thing. To war, baby. Command has identified numerous bug holes in the area. And guess whose job it is to clean them out? Get your squads over to the supply base ASAP, and we'll go from there. Move out. I'm curious to see if there's going to be any base building mechanics to this entire thing. That's kind of like an RTS standard, is that you get your hell march on, and Suburban. then you build a base. There you go, there you go. Mobile infantry, light them up. Oh, we got a man down. Oh, her, she's cut in half. She's not going to make it, dude. 
That'll, don't worry, don't worry about that. You're gonna be fine. Um, that's gonna buff out. It just you gotta give it a scrub. Yeah, you just take a nap for a second. I promise you'll feel better in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I think that attack move is the underrated thing that I need to be doing from now on. I, I think that repositioning people like mid fight is not going to be advantageous. So I think from now on, I'm just gonna make the conscious decision to attack move my way in everywhere. We should be able to cut through this interference and get some reinforcements. It's kind of a bummer that they don't know how to, like, walk and fire. That's kind of, like, military standard. Okay. I don't know, like, Call the specific HQ. name yeah, for it or whatever. Position. But it's, like, where they walk the with the guns at, like, a high ready, you know what I mean? And they can, like, accurately fire while slowly stepping. Kind of wish they had something like that, in all honesty. But, like, request more troopers from the radio station? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, here's a better idea. Let's replace that guy that got cut in half. How about that? That guy got cut in half something fierce. Bugs inbound. Find a firing position, people. Yep. Use the high ground. Oh, I wonder if we have higher ground. Yeah, we can. So we can actually fire over our lines if and only if we have the high ground. Okay. I'm starting to see the strategy coming together. All right, come on, mobile infantry. Help them out. Put some scow on them. Come on. Oh, okay. All right. I like how animated the dying characters are. It is grizzly, but then again, Starship Troopers is supposed to be grizzly. Like, Starship Troopers is, you know, gnarly. If you've ever seen the film or read the books, like, it's bad. But they'll keep coming until we seal those bug holes. Okay, so we gotta nade the bug hole. Get over there and take it out. Okay. Attack, move your way on up there, boys. Actually, gather right here first. Everybody moved as a group. Don't. Yeah, we have one detachment right here that's ahead of everybody else. I don't want that. That that that's just a rescue mission waiting to happen. I'm I'm not trying to turn this into saving Private Ryan right now. Uh, you guys move up in formation. I do wish that they. You know, it's hard to say because they've got to move through the terrain or whatever. But like, I wish they held formation a little bit tighter. Okay. Attack. Move over to here. If you've got an opportunity to shoot. Shoot. I can't decide if I want to leave these guys back here. We're, like, ripe for a flank right now. We're really, really ripe for a flank. And so, like, part of me wants to take this leftmost flank right here and have it hold this road. But I'm not so sure about it. Uh, give me a give me a nade out there. There you go. Perfecto, dude. Could not have gone better. I'm proud of all of you. Well done. All right, move down the valley. Let's capture this thing. Attack, move your way on in. The second that you've got a shot, you let them have... Oh, that bug, they weren't kidding. There's a lot of bugs in there. Uh, does anybody else have a nade? I was going to say, you're going to want to throw a nade. It's going to be a good idea to throw a nade right about now. Okay, attack, move on up. And I should have one squad that still has grenades left. Uh, we're losing firepower right there, so you guys get in formation. I wonder if we clear it, or if I have to nade it. In the movies, you had to nade the bug holes. Okay. The bugs are down. Get a squad in that bug hole to seal it up. Oh, I don't want to do that. Some but that's what we're here for. Okay, sorry, boys. You drew the short straw. How many guys did they lose? Is there any way to tell? Orders are to expand your foothold in the sector. Captured the local radio stations to use them as staging points for operations to take out arachnid colonies. How many guys did you lose? It doesn't actually look like their health meter went down, like, at all. Although part of me is like, I'm not sure what the difference is. The green seems to be their health, but I don't know what the blue is. So there's two meters, one on each side. The green is their health, because I saw when the bugs were chewing up our characters, the green went down. Uh, but as far as the blue meter, I'm not sure what the blue meter is. Uh, you guys move up and out of this valley. Bug hole's cleared. We need to head to the north, and we need to secure that base right there. Okay. And on the plus side, at least we're getting to walk on a road, so that's good. Uh, move up. Attack move. Nothing so far. It's kind of concerningly quiet right now. 
I don't really want to move up any further right here. So these guys have blocked line of sight, but if they try to squeeze through right there, we may have a shot. Ah, other squads got him taken care of. Okay, you guys move up. You guys move up. You guys move up. Okay, we need to be careful how we approach this, because if we push left, we get flanked. We push right, we get flanked. We also don't know if there's more bugs over there, so you guys kind of set up a very, very loose arch formation right here. There we go. They got stuck for a second. I don't know if you noticed that, so apparently the nav meshes will sometimes let them get stuck down there. That's not good. If we were under duress, that little two-second loss right there, me fixing that unit's movement, would have cost us. Um, all right, so you guys... I want you to have line of sight on the road. You guys set up back here, and you guys go for the cap. Command has allocated you additional resources to fortify the outpost against arachnid attacks. Okay. I guess we're going to have a busy day at the office then. All right. We're going to need combat engineers and MG turrets. Can I capture the supply depot? Construct a support center. Okay. Oh, the helipad is responsible for building things. Okay. Okay. Calling engineers ASAP. All right. Oh, it deploys. Okay, so that's an empty... Okay, that makes sense. It's an empty foundation that I can use. Gotcha. Oh, don't land on my troops, man. Hold up. Hold up, cousin. Those engineers earning their pay. We need two MG turrets covering the outpost before Archie comes to crash this party. I hate to be that guy, but I think Archie's already here, dude. He brought Jughead and everybody else with him, too. All right, build turrets on hard surfaces. That sounds good. Yeah, we need to have... Okay, turret number one is down. Do they need to babysit that turret? They don't. It actually comes with its own soldier. Okay, good. Uh, that means I can kind of take these guys and put them elsewhere. All right, so turret is down, and it looks like turret number two is almost down which I'm super okay with because these guys are going to need some backup. Uh, you guys set up right here. You guys set up right here. You guys set up right here. Hold them gaps. Yeah, these guys have no MG support over here. That kind of worries me. I'm hoping maybe like the brunt of the attack comes from this side. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Hey, what are you doing, man? Turn back around. You're supposed to be watching the road, my guy. I like the eagerness. Like, I like that your heart is in this and that you're, like, out here ready to get some. But that being said, uh, watch your angle, cousin. Watch your angle. Looks like that MG chews him up pretty good. Oh, is that heat? It looks like the gun maybe overheats. There's another little meter on the side of it right there. Okay, so I think it's going to have down periods to either reload or swap barrels. doesn't look like it's ammo, though. Okay, so from here, it's going to be our responsibility to capture a few more strategic points. I do think that eliminating attacks from this direction is probably our best course of action for now. Uh, let me get some flamethrowers up on that side. Hopefully these MGs can hold. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job, but we need to push to the left and we need to ease up on the pressure that's coming from this side. If we don't do that, we're going to have a bad time. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that we don't have a bad time out here. So far, we've been doing this with no casualties, which I'm really, really thankful for. A thorn hedge. Do I have to flamethrower that? I uh, bet you I got a flamethrower that. Yeah, you got a flamethrower it or grenade it. I'll try and nade it real fast, see if that works, but I bet the flamethrowers get rid of that. Yeah, it's got to be the flamethrowers. 
Oh, I do like how you get like a little option right there if the fire is ineffective. That's kind of cool. Don't really. Okay, so we need to push this, but we need to push this in kind of a good way. Oh, there's so many. There we go. That thinned him out like a little tiny bit, but we still did lose a guy right there. He's unfortunately down. And he's quite... Uh, he doesn't look as bad as the last girl that went down. She got cut in half. He doesn't appear to have any major parts missing, so we might actually be able to patch him up if we put him inside the Colto tank, man. Uh, but yeah, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had the new Starship Troopers game, which feels decent to me so far. The only thing that I've seen thus far um, that kind of stood out was when that one unit got stuck for a second and I had to like recommand them to move around it. But other than that, everything seems to be going smoothly. It seems like they're trying to do sort of a modified Company of Heroes type deal with the game. It doesn't seem like there's cover bonuses or anything else like that. But it does look like they're kind of trying to set up an idea of, like, effective firing ranges. And, like, oh, no, they overmoved. We're going to need another nade out here. That squad right there is getting chewed up, man. Oh, you guys fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Oh, no, dude. We're getting eight on this side. Okay, okay, okay. Fall back to base, fall back to base. Uh, we're going to need to redeploy units out here. Yeah, squad got chewed up. It's okay, though. It looks like reprovisioning is really, really easy. Like, it looks like you just have supplies and you just replace the guys. And that sort of, I think, works towards, like, the expendable nature of the game. Like, that's one of the things about the mobile infantry is that, like, if you've ever partaken in any of, kind of, the Starship Troopers nebula, like, everybody is expendable, basically. We're just throwing raw numbers at the bugs. Uh, sort of Imperial Guard style, I guess. Although the Imperial Guard in Warhammer 40k is heavily, heavily inspired by Starship Troopers. And so anyways, we're just throwing mass numbers at the bugs because that's what we have. And that's what they have too. And so it's basically a meat grinder. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. And this was really, really fun. I'm looking forward to seeing what the final version looks like. Bye, everybody.